My life work is almost complete. Igor, bring me the brain. Yes, master. I will reanimate this blue screen corpse. Here's the Lippard's brain, master. Oh my god, Dr. Hackintosh, what are you doing? We need more power. You're creating a monster. This is crazy. You can't play God. It will destroy you. Yes, it's a lie. Got any Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Pox. Um, Raggle. Uh, couch guy. Yay! He's still here. <laughs> Yes, and uh, you're watching the Two Smart Guys show. Yes, live. We're live uh, on twosmartguys.com slash live. <clears throat> yes. Uh, Justin TV every Wednesday night. But uh, anyways, we bring you cool little hacks, mods, how to make your electronics better. Or... Sometimes we build our own stuff. Yeah, we build our own stuff. In this case, we are building our own Mac Mini yes. out of PC hardware. For much, 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 much cheaper. And this, this process will work on the vast majority of PCs that were made in the past year or two. Okay. So how much does a Mac, what's the lowest Mac Mini that you can buy right now? It's about 600 bucks. 600 bucks. No, I thought it was 700. Oh, 700? That's no, a, is that the Mac Mini? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's $700 now. They, yeah. they, they improved it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the base wait, model wait, wait, wait. is 700 So that's bucks. the Mac Mini, right? Yeah. It's the Mac Mini. And... Uh, they still make those? It's a 320 gig hard drive. Yeah, they still make them. Um, an 8400 NVIDIA graphics card. It's not even the, the, the new iteration, the 200 series. It's still an 8400 series. Um, it's a Core 2 Duo. It's only like a 2.6, I think, though. I can't pull up the page. Yeah, right it was like a 2.6 or 2.4. It was <laughs> low. It was really low end. Yeah. And uh, two gigs of RAM. And uh, a DVD drive. That's about it. Yeah. Not, not much. Not the most bang for your buck in building a PC. It's nice and small. Yeah, they, so, but they, they, that's about it. So our system, um, we put together in a, in a generic case, so it's kind of large, but we're looking in, you, in I'll put well, some, some of these other how, cases. How big is a Mac Mini? It's, it's about, is it as big as a time capsule, but yeah, fatter? Yeah, it's probably, probably fatter than like an Apple TV. Okay. So, I mean, it's about... A Foot by a foot, 12 inches by 12 inches, maybe? Something like that. The, the cases that I spec'd out, they're not that much bigger. Maybe a three inches longer, maybe an inch wider. And, uh, and then, wait, how much did you say we built ours for? Uh, low end was about $332. Uh, and if you go high end, uh, increase the CPU or... Uh, um, get a better case and get a better graphics card, uh, I have a total of about 380 right now. It's a pretty sweet deal. And, I mean, yeah. the, the processor's better. It's a 2.93 Core 2 Duo. That's the lowest one I could find. And it's a better video card, too. Yeah, it's an Intel, or it's a GE Force 210, 512 megabyte. All right, so um, if you want to go to our website, twosmartguys.com, we'll have a list of all the exact parts that we used, the tutorial, and the files that you're going to need. Um, there's this really cool iBoot CD that you can download that basically kind of enables the whole process. And then um, another program called uh, MultiBeast, okay. which allows you to continue to boot without the CD after you install your Hackintosh. Okay. So, you guys ready for the... You ready? <laughs> uh, I got some specs on the size. It's 7.7 oh, 7 by 7, 7.7 7 by 7.7 by 7 by 1.4. Ooh. So it's pretty tiny. Yeah, so this is our, it's kind of hard to compete with that. Yeah, ours is a bit bigger. Um, yeah, not, not quite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Anyways. Anyways. Uh, so how do we do this? Oh, wait, first, um, Citrix, go to meeting. Yes, go to meeting. Enables things like this. Yeah, so like, but um, higher quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. More bandwidth. Much higher quality. Friendly. <laughs> It's not necessarily, it, it doesn't just send video. It, it, it is a much smarter method of showing your desktop to all the people that join the meeting. Go to meeting.com slash podcast. Give it a try. Uh, free 45-day trial, which is more than... You get 15, 15 days more days, more days than you yeah. get. ...in the standard trial. Yeah, so give it a try. Uh, go to meeting.com slash podcast. And then um, get yourself some Hackintosh parts. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Intel. You need to have an Intel processor for this to work. Uh, we chose a Pentium, uh, but in our specs, uh, a Core 2 Duo works even better. <laughs> but Pentiums are like under 50 bucks if you look around. Uh, Blank CD and Snow Leopard. You can pick this up for what, 30 bucks? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cheap. Not even worth pirating, just go buy the thing. <laughs> and two, uh, uh, four gigs of RAM, Less than. So you can have up to four gigs. If yes. you have more, take it out until you get done installing. And then serial ATA uh, for your optical drive and your hard drive. And unplug any uh, extra USB things other than your keyboard. Burn the ISO of um, Tony Mac's iBoot. There's a couple versions to choose from. Uh, with our motherboard, we use the supported one. And then go into your BIOS by hitting delete on this motherboard until you get into it. <laughs> and I'm showing you all the different BIOS options that are available on this particular motherboard and what I had them set to. But there's only a few that are really important, like one, setting it to boot off of the um, CD-ROM and then the hard drive so you have your right boot order. Otherwise, this is obviously isn't gonna work. Uh, integrated apparel is usually where you'll find um, yeah. Hard drive setting. <laughs> Integrated peripherals. Oh, peripherals. <laughs> That's a fancy motherboard. <laughs> Anyways, you want to make sure it's set to uh, serial ATA only. Which is kind of like enabling AHCI. Yeah, that might be another name for it, depending on your motherboard. Yes. And then on power mode, you want to make sure it's set to S3 only for the ACPI suspend type. That's very important. Otherwise, it might go to sleep and not wake up. And the HPET mode is set to 64-bit? Yes, that's also very important, although it's not on all motherboards. Ah. If it's not there, don't worry about it. Okay. And then reboot, and it'll boot off of your um, iBoot CD. Then eject it and put into your Snow Leopard uh, install DVD. Right. Then just press uh, F5 on the keyboard. That will refresh, and it should show your um, install DVD. Go ahead and enter it. And it'll look just like The installer's Mac. running now. Yeah. But you need to set up your hard drive. Yes, you got to format that bad boy. So you go to the disk utility. Uh, we're going to redo the partitioning. So <laughs> I'm just doing one partition. You can do different amount of partitions if you want to. We need at least one. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, make sure that the uh, partition scheme is GUID. And that's in the options button there. And then just apply that. Uh, note, uh, if you're using Adobe products, don't do case sensitive on the file system. <laughs> it, it, it won't let you install. Um, then it's pretty much just like a regular Mac. Uh, I went in and I decided to customize it and get rid of all the other languages that I don't know how to speak because they just eat up a lot of space. Yes. And I decided to install QuickTime 7 because it supports a lot more codecs in addition to the QuickTime X that comes with Snow Leopard. And if you want to use old Macs, you also want to install Rosetta, uh, old Mac software. Okay. Um, then just wait for it to install. Your computer might go into standby. Uh, mine did, and it was finished. So that's good. Uh, but it won't boot off of the Snow Leopard CD again. You need to put back in the iBoot CD that you made. So you only need to do this twice. First time to actually boot the installer, second time to boot the freshly installed Mac OS X. Right, and you're done with that installer DVD. You don't need to use it from this After point After you, you burn multi-beast again. Right. Oh, now, now you're able to boot from the hard drive. You have an option to boot from the hard drive that we just formatted, and it'll run um, Snow Leopard for the very first time. Now, this, this does take a lot longer the very first go-around than it will in the future. 
Uh, it'll ask you to go through the registration process. Uh, you can fill that out however you like. You don't actually have to submit it when you're done, but you do have to fill something out. Uh, if the, the network connection may not work right away, um, so you might just need to tell it that you don't have an internet connection. And we'll fix that here when we run the, the multi boot or multi beast application here. So now we're, we're in Snow Leopard um, 10.6.0. Uh, so what we need to do is install the combo update to 10.6.0 6. or whatever 6. it is. 6.4. Oh, well, okay. Um, so this is kind of tricky. So you want to load up multi beast and install the combo update. But you want to finish the combo update install first, but don't restart the machine. It's going to tell you to restart the machine. Don't do it. So let your um, combo update install. This takes a little while. Boom! And it finishes, but... Don't, don't hit restart. Good job, Pox. Yeah. Yeah. So this, <laughs> this is where you um, install the multi beast now. And this has a lot of options. Uh, this particular uh, motherboard is using a supported CPU. So we're just going to go ahead and check the easy beast. And uh, rebuilding the cache and permissions just kind of prevents problems. It's kind of always a good idea to do that. Uh, KTEXs are basically like drivers for the Mac. Um, and we know for this motherboard that the latest Voodoo... Uh, Voodoo HDA 0.2.2. That works great for the audio, and for our graphics, we needed to use this NV enabler. And on uh, the network, it's a Realtek. And it's the 8100 series, isn't it? Yeah, the 8100 series. We do the 8169 driver. And if you're using hardware that's not on an approved list, um, don't install these parts, and you can just try it one at a time. Okay until you get it to work. <laughs> <laughs> Trial and error. That's kind of how this goes. Or you can check the forms uh, Tony Mac site and they'll hook you up. So um, after multi-boot boot is done installing, you can reboot your computer, um, take out the, the boot CD, because you don't need it anymore. It'll boot right off the hard drive. Is there any way to back up these settings so that, you know, if you had to do this again, you don't have to go through this whole process? Um, a notepad with a piece of paper and a pencil <laughs> and or pen. Fantastic. Old school. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, that's about the only way you can back that up. Unless, you know, you create an image of your install and you back it up to, say, um, Mosey. <laughs> Well, you know, Mosey's my favorite $5 insurance plan. <laughs> and if you use our code, too smart, um, you can save 15% at mosey.com. And I, I use it. It's great. It's awesome. It's unlimited. It's unlimited. And it's cheap. And it's this... automatic, and it adjusts its bandwidth, so it only uploads when you're not using it. And the code is good for life. Yes. So you'll save that every month. Um, use our code. Help use, us out. Use our code. Help us out. Help us out. Um, I like lifetime codes. <laughs> Can't get much better than that. Lifetime discount. So in addition to this building, uh, basically, what, less than $500? Yeah, it was 52% 50, cheaper than the Mac Mini's offering, so the you, lowest offering. So you can use, like, Final Cut on there and all those Mac programs. You, you could. You could. I, would, I don't know about performance-wise. Wouldn't work fine. It's better than your laptop in front of you. No, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I, I, really? What's the graphics card in this beast? It's not it, as good as what you spec'd out. Really? No, it's like an eight. It's a. It's an eight hundred series or eight thousand series or whatever. I'm immensely. My heart. I'm. I'm heartbroken. And it's like a two point six, and you spec'd out a two point nine, right? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Screw this. I want to go build myself a Mac Mini, a Hackintosh Mini. Uh, oh, and then you can always go a step further. You can uh, any of the um, P55 okay. motherboards, the ones that are the I I5s, I3s, I7s. Evans. They work um, with this exact same method, except for the I3. You mentioned something about the I3. Oh, the I3 you just need to do unsupported. Okay, but it works. 
that we have one sitting right over here. This is um, this is what I've got set up right here. This is this is an i3, and then underneath the table which we're using to switch, which is what's on screen here, is an i7, and they're both um, Hackintoshes, <coughs> and they're running the latest version of the OS, and they're working Performing good. Admirably, admirably. <laughs> And like this i7 right here is, it's got just it, on the benchmarks, it's got the same benchmarks as the Mac Pro that I have that's a year a year old. And that was like you know, three grand. Yeah. And this was built for around, for under six, so. So Hackintosh uh -huh. is a good way to get uh, onto the Apple platform for cheap. Yeah, and you can always boot into a um, PC too, so you yeah. can do boot it. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can always go back to Windows. <laughs> Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Because it's pumpkin time, man. Oh, it's, it is pumpkin time. Um, uh, running away. Running away. CCS. Pumpkin. Yes, CCS. When we need to run away from pumpkin yeah, time. If, we just in case you CCS are ever needing to hit the ground we go out with there. speed. <laughs> um, yeah, CCS, they got cool skater gear and shoes. and. I don't use the term skater gear. They got cool gear. They got cool gear. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can use our code AFSMAR15 oh. down here, and you can save. Niner. On, uh, That's a horrible <laughs> code. <laughs> <laughs> on uh, orders of $50 or more. So it's cool stuff. Uh, check them out, and also um, check us out, our show, twosmartguys.com, where we do a show every week. New shows. Uh, Live shows Wednesday, 10.30 uh, Mountain Standard Time, and then we post that show on Monday. Finished and finalized, and glossy, and gleaming, and shining. And some Guar guaranteed to be not on time. Yeah. Hey, the Monday shows are, but the, the, the live broadcasts are totally not. We start broadcasting <laughs> at 10.30. We always try and broadcast at 10.30, but it, there's usually a good setup time in there. Yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, subscribe to the feed if you want to get it delivered automatically to your iPod or your whatever. If you're watching this on YouTube or Mevio... And, all that fun stuff. And uh, email me, um, Pox, at Two Smart Guys, with your show ideas on what you want us to cover, because we, we try all kinds of different things. Yeah. PSPs, uh, iPhones, Anything Android that we phones. can afford to buy. Yeah. <laughs> and we got good stuff coming up. If in you the want us to buy too. something, then go visit our sponsors. <laughs> See you guys next week. Lots Bye. of times. Buy lots of stuff. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. 